This three-minute maths training video is taken from using numberless prompts to deconstruct word questions year two and year three. In it, we have a look at a bar graph question and how using the slow reveal technique can get children thinking about the different possible questions that could be asked. Now, for the final example, what I wanted to look at is how just these same principles have applied for me in, in, um, in data contexts. Um, and essentially looking at how we can layer the information as it's presented to get children to look at structures, see possibilities, and not be too quick to have to get to the point where they have to find answers. So a way of doing that, essentially, I've taken a question, I've just covered lots up, um, and then created variations on, on those questions. So I could say, well, give, what, what could this graph represent here? Um, what information will we see? Uh, what could it be? Or what, what else could it be? What couldn't it be? Um, and then, and you know, and we could look here at the kind of the form of a bar graph where it wouldn't rep be representing, for example, temperature necessarily, because that's um, that would more be represented by a line graph, but there'll be distinct groups. And then we could look, and actually it was the number of pets. There we go. And it's dog, cat, rabbit, and fish. And then I could say, well, what do you notice uh, from here? And, and ask children to make specific observations. And then, and again, this is just essentially taking a question and introducing it slowly. So there are some true or false statements in this question. Um, there are four of them um, that, that we will see and we will have a look at. I wonder if you could predict what those statements could be, those true or false statements. Um, so what, what could they be? And children could find different possible statements there. Um, and then, if I want to be more directive, I could show the first part um, of each statement. So there are, as opposed to there are 10 more altogether and most of um, for children to predict, well, what could the rest of the statement be? What information would be required in that in the rest of the statement there? So let me just give you a moment to consider what they could be and feel free if you want longer to pause the video. And then again, when we actually have a look at the information, and again, we've got so much more there from, from just one task, um, we hopefully then are in the position of having understood the deep structure and we, we've interpreted how we need to collect that information. Um, so again, hopefully now children having higher success. To access the whole video, go to icmaths.com, training, online teacher training, and all the information that you'll need can be found on this page.